Hey guys, going for a morning walk. Got the dogs, my daughter, my son. Um, I wanna talk today a little bit about cravings and how to help with cravings. And it took me years to figure this out. I'm 46 years old, been working out bodybuilding for 33 years. And I always had a problem for years I always had a problem dieting and um, I'm on a little mini cut right now and I always had a problem with cravings which everybody does um, and I wanted to talk about what I, what I found out about that my craving is sugar a lot of sugar um, whenever I'm dieting I'll start craving sugar and I want I love eating cereal cocoa pebbles um, frosted flakes I can eat bowls of it and um, then there's other things, you know, donuts, Coca-Cola, and whatever I would try to start eating clean for years, um, I could only go, I couldn't go more than 10 days, and I would just fold, and I would, I would eat a whole entire box of cereal, and sometimes in the middle of the night, I wake up and eat a whole entire box of cereal, and I used to always get down on myself, and just think, man, I have like no willpower, and why... Are all these other people able to eat clean and eat perfect six meals a day every day and how come they can do it and I can't do it and I just thought I have no willpower and I tried and tried it took me years until I stumbled upon something and my eyes were open um, <clears throat> I started thinking about how um, why am I craving sugar why am I craving sugar okay and one of the reasons is if I was if I was thousands of years ago and I was living, you know, off the land, and I was there was no convenience stores, no Coca Colas, no Shipley's Donuts, what would I do when I'm craving sugar? What would I do? I would go to a tree and pluck off an apple, go eat some strawberries, and I'd be satisfied. And so, what I started doing was I noticed that. One day I just started eating a lot of fruit and I started realizing all my cravings, all my cravings had gone away. Or, you know, I wouldn't have those cravings whenever I ate fruit. And so I started eating blackberries, blueberries, strawberries. Um, and all of a sudden, now I have all this willpower. Wow, was it my willpower or was it something my body was needing? My body was telling me that I needed. And so, um, so I started eating fruit every day and I would eat like a cup of blackberries, blueberries, strawberries. I'd get, get, wake up in the morning and I'd just eat a cup first thing in the morning and all my cravings would go away. And then I would notice sometimes I'd get real busy during the week and I would run out of fruit and say, oh, I'll go to the grocery store later. <clears throat> so I wouldn't have fruit that day. And then the next day, I'm thinking about donuts, apple pie, or I need a Coke. And then so I put two and two together and I started thinking, okay, What's in the fruit? What is in the fruit? Okay, if I, you know, thousands of years ago, there's no convenience stores, no donuts, no Coke, and my body goes craving sugar. What's inside this fruit? Well, fruit is filled with antioxidants, multivitamins, minerals, and fruit cleans, cleans your body too. And so I, I start, I finally dawned on me and realized it's not about willpower. It's my body is instinctively telling me that it's missing something. It's needing a key ingredient. I need a lot of antioxidants. I need a lot of multivitamins and minerals. And also, when you, whenever you eat um, high protein or you eat a lot of protein, I don't eat super high protein, but if you eat a lot of protein, um, it's acetic. And there's a lot of free radicals and toxins that come off of that. And um, you need to eat more antioxidants you need to eat more fruit the more protein you eat the more fruit you need to eat um that's a whole nother topic that i can go into but what i realized is <clears throat> once i started giving my body the key nutrients that are inside the fruit now i'm not craving sugars anymore and what i was doing before is and what we all do is um whenever i say you're, you're you're on a diet and you're craving sugar and you go you're like man i'm thinking about you know, see these shipless donuts every day i drive by shipless donuts and you go in there and you get a donut and you eat that donut it feels so good and you feel so happy and satisfied that you ate the donut and um the next day you know what happens the next day you want donuts again or you want a coke or a, 
how about those uh i love those fried apple pies from waterburger those get me and you never, you know, you just want more. The more sweets you eat, the more you crave. And the reason is because you're tricking your body. You're lying to your body, kind of. Your body's craving the multivitamins and the antioxidants that are in the fruits. And you're not eating enough of them. And so, you're, you know, here we live in this world where we make all this food, this uh, fake food. And so you go eat a donut and, and, or drink a Coke and your body fools good for a second. But then it catches on and realizes, hey, I still don't have the antioxidants and the vitamins and minerals that I need. And so it starts craving the sugar again. And you're not ever giving it what it what it needs. You think you are. You're going and eating this, this cereal and all this processed sugar. And it's not satisfying you. And you just can't quit. You fail over and over and over. It's because you're not giving your body what it needs. Once you start giving your body what it needs, the right micronutrients, the right vitamins and minerals, then your cravings go away. And it has nothing to do with willpower. I mean, willpower only lasts for so long. And it's very hard to keep going with willpower. If you give your body what it needs, then everything will fall into place. So also for those people that crave fats, you know, a lot of people don't crave sugars. They crave fats, salt, salt and fats. And so that means they might you might need more nuts and seeds you might need to add more nuts and seeds to your diet something inside the nuts and the seeds the cashews the walnuts the pecans the almonds you might need to add, add a couple of more servings of seeds good healthy fats and see if you're craving for sugar i mean you're craving for fat and salt go away and so i know i'm kind of ranting a little bit i'm trying to walk as i go me and my kids are going for a walk I found this dog rummaging through my trash, this husky. I think I'm gonna sell him for probably, I could probably get 50 bucks for this dog. No. Um, anybody has $50, I'll, I'll bring this husky. I'm kidding. That's my friend's dog and she loves him. His name is Toshi. And then I got the little one, Ryder. We got him for free. And then I have an old Jack Russell. He's 17 years old. I didn't bring her on the walk. But anyway, that's my little tip of the day on how to get rid of cravings. Think about it, a lot of times it's not a matter of willpower, but it could just be a matter of your body getting the right nutrients and vitamins it needs. So think about that. Have a good one. Hey guys, listen, if there's anybody out there that wants to um, figure out how to eat nutritionally good and get your body in shape, lose some fat, get in shape for this upcoming summer um, and you want to do one of my 90 day programs body transformations just click the link below and fill out my transformation application and I'll explain to you on my whole philosophy of diet and how it's uh, how it can fit into your lifestyle and another thing I want to mention um, don't think you know I love bodybuilding I love being big and having thick round muscle bellies um, most of my clients are not bodybuilders most of my clients are people between 40 to 60 years old, men and women that just wanna get the fat off. They're having health problems, health issues. So 90% of my, my people I work with are just regular mom and dads from you know grandparents, 40 to 50 year old. Um, but I also do uh, the younger kids too, people that wanna compete, men, women, bodybuilding, figure, fitness. So anyway, just click the link below and uh, you can uh, understand a little bit more of how how I do the diet and the nutrition program. Have a good one.